So welcome to my presentation on innovation in startups. So the previous uh, lecture given by Ruti Saab is very much relevant to this talk. Both of the things he has already covered. We try to have a discussion rather than presentation because you are all learned people. You know everything. You have already taught all these things to your students, programmers, and all. Still, uh, whatever uh, uh, the prior uh, experience I had, <coughs> I, have, I have seen some of the things I would like to share those stories. From the last two years, I have saw one uh, cafe, very frequent. So whenever I visit my in-laws house, in the evening, after 10.30 only, we will start our journey to Atlanta. During that period, I used to cross this that road where I use people gathered around one place. It's a very small place. It's in the main road, the ring road. 10.30, 11, still a large gathering was there. And not much visibility of that uh, uh, shop also. And it is the, it is just beside the petrol pump in JP. So later on, when we inquired with our in-laws, uh, they told that uh, it is one cafe recently opened. And uh, even you go in the midnight, one o'clock also, the same type of people will be there. The same gathering will be there. So then, out of curiosity, one day I visited. It's very impressive. So that uh, shop is called as Sri Rameshwaram Cafe. You might be knowing yes. Yes. this cafe. So this is also a startup. It is called as QSR Startup. It was started as a startup. Quick servicing restaurant. Yes, sir. quick servicing restaurant. So the owner of this cafe is Raghavendra Rao and Divya. Raghavendra Rao is a mechanical mechanical engineer, and Divya is a CA, chartered accountant, and both of them have passed their degree from IIM Ahmedabad. So they are the product of I am Ahmedabad and 2021 this uh, uh, cafe was established and uh, recently I saw uh, Nikhil Kamath's podcast <coughs> where he has right wrote uh, uh, every day that cafe is cutting 7500 pills, 7500 pills <coughs> to start at uh, 630 a.m. And closes at 1 p.m. And uh, their monthly business is 4.5 crore. And their annual business is 50 crore. So within just a two years span, so that's grown like that. And they have again established in Indra Nagar also, and uh, uh, one more in Whitefield also. Now three cafes are and it again it is not a franchisee, it is operated by themselves, only, those two IAM graduates. What is the speciality? So the speciality is that the ghee based food items they will prepare, mainly Italy's, dosa, filter coffee is famous. And not much difference with taste, uh, taste wise and other things. But uh, whenever you go to that shop, uh, uh, the hospitality, uh, the supply, 
the quick supply of the services and also uh, some uh, uh, pictorial representation on the walls and all those things uh, that made a very uh, beautiful point, an attractive point to gather there. And again, they have mentioned that they have done one year deep research before establishing that cafe uh, because that is very much needed. Because many hotels are there, many restaurants are there, many dabas are there, but why this is a special one? Because that was established in a JP Nagar where all posh people and also a foreign written people, they are staying and uh, they are ready to purchase outside and they are having lot of works also. They want to venture in the midnight outside and spend time outside. So they will keep their laps up there, laptops and other things. They were doing work and they are ordering food and like that, so full of life, night life is there. Because of that one cafe, that entire road, <coughs> now it is opening up to 1 o'clock. And shortly they are making it to 24 into 7. They are applied for the permission. And uh, the government is also ready to provide them 24 into 7. So that much uh, influence or impact uh, they have created and now this, this is the talk of the, this, this talk. Everybody is speaking about that Jai Raghavendra uh, Rao and also India. And uh, now they are uh, starting their uh, cafes in uh, Hyderabad, Chennai. Chennai they have already started, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Delhi, all major cities they are planning to start their start. -up. Still it is a start. -up. So with this, sir, it is a foot based only. Still, we say that agriculture is a farmer based. So 60% farmers are dependent on agriculture. We are producing a major food. All those things we are telling. And we are telling it is uh, our art, uh, our way of living, it is for subsistence farming like that. But now agriculture is an industry. We are no, not doing agriculture for the subsistence and it is not uh, way of living. Agriculture is there everywhere and agriculture is popularizing as an industry also. And a lot of opportunities and potentialities are there and uh, we have to encash those potentialities. That's very important. So this is all the there, the contribution of agriculture. So we are having uh, the youth population, <coughs> but they are unemployed. But employability is only less than 46 percent. Then rest of the people what to do? There is a lot of opportunities. Earlier what is the technology? We have to use uh, that uh, uh, big hard disk to store 5 MB. Now a small one, even smaller than this also, we can store a lot of data. And before NASA, 1961, they used to write a lot of things on the blackboards. Now, everything is in the PPT mode. So technology today impacts every aspect of agricultural value chain, starting from inputs to marketing, distribution, packaging, handling. And today we will try to understand the concepts of innovation and startups and current scenario and the government supports bottlenecks and sensitivities. You all know what is innovation. Yes. Now only uh, rotates are discussed. What is innovation? What is innovation? New, new, original. Original, new, new. 
What is creativity? Bringing anything new in the case of public question. Bringing anything new in the case of That is creativity. Innovation? So innovation is manifestation of that creativity into a usable form. Is it not? So this is creativity and this is innovation. To be creative, an individual must be able to <coughs> create or think new ideas. To be innovator, those ideas or those creativity needs to be put into action. <coughs> then what is startup? <coughs> Startup is a miniature of car presence. Hmm? Startup is a miniature of one car presence. Corporation. Miniature of yeah. You relate this into innovation? Yes. Startups. They are with the innovation. Most All of the startups are startups. Yeah. Most of the startups <laughs> are based on innovation. innovation. So that uh, Sri Rameshwara Cafe is based on innovation only. One is USR, quick service. And another one is location. Ambience. Ambience and location. The location he has selected. So the business or companies which are established based on the innovation and uh, <coughs> there is a scope for scalability or improvement in that business also. What is the difference between a uh, business and uh, startup? Business may not be based on innovation. So, startup is based on innovation. Most of, them. Most of the startups are based on innovation. Scalability is there. Scalability, Scalability is, is there. We can uh, establish that on an international level. Mm. IT connection is there. Yes, yes. Scalability of scaling is there. Then, IT connection is there. Mm. Then, business. Business is running small scale in small village also. Established. It may be or may not be in a big place. Businesses are uh, established in a bigger or smaller scale, established on their own, and uh, they are already in the field over the, over the years. They are successfully uh, their running business. And uh, uh, many a times uh, these businesses are not based on innovation or creativity. So we will try to have some of the innovations. I will try to relate uh, uh, field level innovations, which I saw visible. Okay. So this is uh, in our uh, operation area where I am working. <coughs> One day I saw this when I am pass, uh, passing uh, in the poor village. These type of guns, guns. So they have installed, and you look. Uh, it looks like uh, a rain. It looks like a rain. So when I interacted with person, Venkatesh, so he invented this by making use of the available drip materials. <coughs> This is, he named it as a AC rain jet system because you will experience the AC condition whenever you be there and in that, uh, with that system. So what he has done? He has put out a lateral, 16 mm lateral, uh, 8 uh, feet 60 mm lateral and another uh, 4 feet uh, 16 mm lateral. He adjusted that uh, 18 mm lateral to 16 mm lateral, this horizontal way, and 4 mm drip drippers he has taken, 4 mm drippers line, and he has cut those drippers line to this height, and uh, that uh, dripper uh, lines he has made some carvings. 
in such a way that it should give or push uh, uh, the water in the mist form in a different direction. He has done that. And uh, very recently he has invented and uh, many of the farmers or uh, many of the even YouTubers, they have recorded this and they have now nearly 1 million people have seen this and every week, every Sunday, he has devoted his whole time for this uh, uh, method only and uh, nearly 100 to 120 people every day, uh, every Sunday, they are visiting across the different uh, states and they are learning this. It's a very simple technique, very simple technique. Why he has invented means he has lost all his crop because of the failure of bore wells. He was having very little amount of water, one and a half inch water. He has stored all those water in one pond and now he is lifting that water in these trips. So now he is make, uh, he is growing only the vegetables and other things and he is able to survive because of this uh, system. Otherwise, uh, he could not get any water. That's the thing. Because uh, it needs a small quantity of water and only we have to do only 10 to 15 minutes irrigation. That's the thing. So, entire land is going to be moist. So this is innovation or startup? Innovation. 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 Then can we establish a startup on this? Yes. 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 Definitely. Now he is in that process. He is a farmer, but uh, by seeing this method through YouTube and other things, many of the engineers they have come forward to standardize this technique. So, the standardization <coughs> process is going up. Shortly, he may have his own startup. So, this is again a, a small innovation. In Tumpur, we have a coconut trees. 180,000 hectare coconut trees, a predominant area. And the farmers are facing rat problem. So they used to suck the coconut water from the mats. That's the major problem. To avoid that, this person has identified his own uh, invented or his own methodology that is rat traps. And used to put that trap on the coconut fronts upper side and for that he is having a small thread and through thread he will put that uh, traps and uh, put some uh, food that is it may be a, a copra and other things. So in this he has uh, controlled and many of the missionaries other people have purchased from him. This is a small innovation. Now, he is preparing all these rat traps on his own and he is selling. So, these are all the things you know, pillar mounted sea drill, a small uh, uh, refinement to the existing uh, uh, drill and uh, some of the missionaries alterations you know. And one more thing is uh, now ecotourism is becoming popular. So even the government is also supporting ecotourism. So they are giving a, a subsidy to establish these type of tourism centers. So again, one of the farmer, he himself without any support, he has established his four acres of land as a tourism center. So what he has done, so in his four acre of land, he has grown uh, uh, the areca nuts in an integrated uh, farming system approach, areca nut, coconut and other uh, intercrops in that. And whatever the uh, residue comes out of that, 
he is not wasting all those things, he is preparing vermicompost in the farm itself and recycling it. And he has uh, constructed uh, some of these type of structures in the uh, farm, four acres of land, one swimming pool and he has made one seminar hall and uh, one uh, a big function hall and also uh, by using low cost materials he has constructed uh, uh, small small rooms for staying also, mud house bathing, uh, mud uh, houses for staying and also for cooking uh, the food. If somebody came, they can take the, all the materials and uh, cook there itself using all mud pots. So like that, he has infused all the traditional methods of living. And now everybody coming, they are staying, they are enjoying there and they are cooking their own own and they are working on that field, they are taking mud bath and all uh, the traditional activities they play and after two to three days they will go with a good practice. It is where sir? It is in Tipto. So his name Charges, is? Huh? Charges. Charges uh, for any food they want, they will, he will charge. And so only entry fees is there for 50 rupees. Only entry fees. Entry fees, 50 rupees per entry. And uh, he will give swimming pool. If they pay 50 rupees, they can uh, swim. <laughs> swim also. Uh, and uh, stay in a very nominal <coughs> room rent. If any uh, seminars and other things, uh, with the nominal rent, uh, he will uh, rent out uh, seminar halls and other. By spending very small amount, uh, the outsiders can make use of this. All software engineers, other people from Bangalore, every week they will come and they will stay. And <coughs> this is all some of the innovations, the farmers related innovations. I am telling. Again, not a uh, big one startups, I am not relating. The small, uh, small farmers innovative, uh, innovative ideas, they can be, they can be brought into a startups. So by looking these things, this is a six years old uh, uh, forum uh, which uh, started uh, from long six years back and it is continuing still. By looking this forum, many of the people, they converted this into a startup. This was one of the four piece of innovation, so product innovation, <coughs> process innovation, position innovation and paradigm innovation. So, so the uh, stages of innovations which are involved. And uh, to start a startup, the prior requirement is that the business should not cross more than 25 crore. And also it is lesser than 10 years old. So those type of startups will be considered for funding from the government. So the government is funding up to 50 crores to the startups. And also the government is giving uh, some of the incentives uh, like uh, no tax. So what is the lower no, not exceeding 25. So, starting minimum. 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 So, startups, even they start with 5 lakhs also. Even they will start with 1 lakh also. So, this Ram, Sri Rameshwara Cafe, they started with uh, 15 lakhs investment. Now, they have started giving franchise also. Rameshwara Cafe, they will charge only one lakh for the franchise. So these are all the steps uh, involved in uh, setting up of the startups. So incorporate your business, register with the startup, upload the documents, answer if you would like to avoid the benefits, then tell certify that you will satisfy the conditions. 
So documents. Okay. Karnataka website is there. Karnataka government has a specialized website for that. So Department of Electronics, Department of Electronics and uh, Biotechnology Department is there. Now. In that, uh, you can upload and avail the text. So India is the third largest uh, startup ecosystem in the world. We have 98,000 startups. Around 27 of the 1,000 of these uh, startups are technology led startups. 1,300 <coughs> technology startups were born in 2019 alone. You claim there are two to three startups <coughs> born every year. So every day, there are two to three startups are born. So now, uh, because of lot of opportunities are available in the agriculture sector, food sector, people are rushed to establish the startups. Some of the agricultural startups uh, you know, uh, Karnataka, Gujarat and Meghalaya are the best performer startups. And uh, the top performers, Kerala, Maharashtra, Odisha, Telangana, and Jammu Kashmir. Leader in the startups, Uttarakhand, Assam, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Andaman and Nicobar, Arunachal Pradesh, Punjab and Goa. Aspiring leaders, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Himachal Pradesh, and emerging states are Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Mizoram. So this is state-wise uh, startups. So okay. Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Delhi are having the highest uh, startups. In agriculture, we are having 4,653 startups. So again, among the world, Bangalore stands in 20th position, and Delhi starts in 23th position. So again, Karnataka is in the fourth part. So this is the status of the startups. 4979 startups recognized, agree, tech startups. 45,000 employed mm -hmm. and 523 districts are covered with these startups. This is the startup <laughs> funding for agri tech, for agriculture sector. We have now 380 million amount raised for these agri startups. So these are also some of the uh, benefits of agri startups. Or startups. What are the benefits? We are providing employment, empowerment, income generation, streamlining the supply chain system, untapping, untapping the untapping sector. Yes. Then uh, we are maximizing the productivity, is it not? We are maximizing the productivity, effective resource utilization, use of digital infrastructure. So some of the agri startups like uh, in inputs, harvesting, processing, marketing, we have so many agri startups were established. Drone is also a startup. And also IoT, internet uh, basic things. <coughs> we have so many startups. Again, uh, this is another thing. Vertical gardening. Vertical gardening. Skyscraper farming, aquaponics, GM crops, EMAP, apiculture, 